Hello everyone and welcome to our video on sharing a Google Doc. So with the current situation at VCU, Google Docs are something that you might find yourself wanting to use because they are readily available and very easy to share. And so this video, we're going to simply go over the quickest and easiest ways to share a Google Doc. So the first thing we want to do is take a look at the share settings on the sample Google Doc that I have up on my screen. So I'm simply going to go over to this button on the right hand side that says share and I'll be clicking there. So once I click on the share button, this is the dialog box that pops up. And you can enter names here of specific people that you want to share the document with. Generally, however, I like to come down here to the right hand side and click on the advanced settings so I can sort of see all of my options for this Google Doc. Of note, um, you have a link right here that you could copy and paste into a Blackboard course or into a WordPress site so students could simply click on that link and access the Google Doc. What we want to pay attention to is the section here that says who has access. And as you can see right now, it is set to private, only me, only I can access this document. But if we come over here and click change, we can see that we're given an array of different options here. So we can set the document so anyone on the internet can find it or just anyone with a link. We can set it so only someone at VCU can find the document. Um, note with that, however, that students have to actually be logged into their VCU email account in order to access the document. And sometimes students will sign in with a personal Gmail or something like that, which would prevent them from accessing the document. So you can use that one, um, but it's almost easier to just say anyone with a link can access the document. Again, you could set it to anyone at VCU with the link and only shared with specific people if you wanted to share with one or two other students or something like that. So I'm going to go ahead and click on anyone with a link is who I want to share this with. And you'll see that I now have a different option that's popped up down here. And I want to show you exactly what this means. So as you can see, now it says anyone can view the document. You can see I can change this here because I have this downward facing arrow. And I could change that to anyone with access can comment on the document or anyone on with access to the document can edit the document. And so what you choose really depends on the purpose of the document that you're sharing. If you're sharing, for example, a syllabus that you don't want students to be able to edit, then you would probably just want to leave this on can view so that way nothing accidentally gets changed. If however, you're sharing some kind of a document that's collaborative where you want students to work together, then you would want to change this to edit. And that means that anyone with the link could come onto this document and change things. So it does work really well for collaboration. Alternatively, same sort of thing. If you wanted to have students just make comments, maybe provide some annotations on a document or something like that, you could change it to just comment and you would see those comments with their names. So I'm going to leave this to anyone with the link can edit the document and I'm going to go ahead and click save. So you can see we're back to the main window and it now shows who has access. Anyone with a link can edit the document. Um, additionally, if I wanted to share this document with specific people, maybe I want to send this to a co-teacher or a graduate assistant, I could specifically enter their name or email. And when I click done, an email will be sent to them letting them know, hey, so-and-so has shared a document with you. Either way, when I'm done, I can just simply click this done button and I've successfully set the settings on my Google Doc so that it can be easily shared. And that's really all you need to know about sharing a Google Doc. 